The condition known as scale rot is a bacterial infection that is quite common among captive reptiles, most notably snakes. Scale rot typically occurs when your snake's enclosure is subject to overly moist conditions and or improper cleaning. If your snake's environment has a high content of fecal matter and food, bacterial and fungal growth can occur. This will only add to the probability of scale rot and overall skin erosion. If your snake is left in this troublesome environment, significant infection can occur, which can prove to be fatal. In this video, we will detail the specifics concerning scale rot, what it is, the primary causes, the early symptoms, the potential severity of the condition, and how you can treat it. Scale rot is a broad term that is often used to describe a blister disease or various forms of dermatitis in reptiles. Scale rot can be used to describe primary and secondary infections that occur following skin abrasions, general cuts, and burns. Quite common in captive snakes such as the ball python, corn snake, and boa constrictor, improper management and maintenance of a snake's living quarters is one of the most common causes of scale rot. Improper humidity levels inside of a snake's enclosure can serve as a major contributor. Snakes, similar to most every living creature that is cared for as a pet, live on some form of bedding. Enclosures that have moist or wet bedding can be very problematic. Snakes that rest on damp bedding for a long period of time increase their risk of developing scale rot. As we have briefly noted, a moist and humid environment is one of the biggest culprits. However, improper maintenance, most notably improper cleaning of a snake's enclosure, can also lead to a filthy living environment. This also places a large role in the potential development of scale rot. Vitamin A and vitamin C deficiencies can also increase the risk of your snake developing this health concern. While this condition seemingly preys on an unclean living space, your snake can develop this ailment if a vitamin A or vitamin C deficiency has taken hold. Because scale rot is born of a bacterial infection, the condition can be contagious. This is critically important if you have more than one snake. If you currently have a snake with scale rot, it's vital that you quarantine it as soon as possible. Keep it quarantined until it has fully recovered. In respect to your unaffected snakes and other reptiles, check the humidity levels of their tanks and make it a priority to clean and sterilize their enclosures thoroughly. It is also important to replace any soiled bedding immediately while also removing any and all bedding that contains moisture, whether it be from bodily fluids or general humid conditions. Scale rot can present itself in a variety of ways. This is why it's so critical to monitor your snake's appearance and be proactive as soon as you notice any changes. Early detection equates to faster treatment and a smoother recovery time. The primary symptoms of scale rot include number one, discoloration. If your snake's brown, yellow, greenish, black, or red scales are becoming discolored, this could be an early sign that something is wrong. In order to be more proactive, turn your snake on its back and take a closer look at the stomach area. If you notice discoloration along this region, there's a good chance that your snake has scale rot. As not to be confused with shedding, scale rot is typically accompanied by several other signs, such as erosion of scales and visibly large blisters. Symptom two, raised scales. If some of your snake's scales have a raised or puffy appearance, this could be an early sign of scale rot. This primarily occurs in areas where blood may have settled or pooled underneath the surface. Number three, blisters. Forming less than an inch in diameter, blisters are often found on the ventral surface of snakes where direct contact is made with bedding. In most cases, the blisters are clear with a yellowish fluid that is free of bacteria. However, if this symptom is ignored, 
the condition will worsen and bacteria will set in. This can occur due to self-contamination or the snake's environment being contaminated. Step 1. Clean your snake's enclosure. Because the lack of a sanitary environment plays such a large and critical role in the development of scale rot, it is imperative to include enclosure maintenance as a form of treatment. You are indeed treating your snake's environment. Disinfecting everything inside and replacing all soiled bedding with either dry newspaper or paper towels is a necessity. This will help you to control the area and prevent the continuation of the infection. Step 2. Use a strong and secure water bowl. As we've noted, water and moisture can contribute to scale rot. The last thing you want is for your snake to knock over its flimsy water bowl. Make sure your snake's hydration bowl is strong, sturdy, and secure. The bowl should also be small enough that your snake is unable to soak in it. A snake that has scale rot will only make the situation that much worse if it's able to soak in water. Step 3. Betadine Solution Bath One of the best ways to treat scale rot is to have your snake rest in a betadine solution bath for 20 minutes twice per day until the infection has healed. As a word of caution and advice, if the betadine bath does not help the ailment or worsens the condition, stop treatment immediately and take your snake to the vet. In respect to preparation, mix 10% betadine in lukewarm water. After soaking your snake, rinse immediately and apply a topical antibiotic ointment. Neosporin is a wonderful treatment. Antibiotic spray is also an option. As we've noted several times, make sure your snake's enclosure is clean, especially after a betadine and antibiotic treatment. A dirty enclosure will negate this entire process. It should be noted that this specific treatment method is for mild scale rot only. There is a good chance that a betadine bath will prove ineffective if your snake's symptoms are severe. This is why vet care is so very important. And finally, step four, moisture control. This is so vitally critical. In addition to cleaning your snake's enclosure, and removing all forms of liquid that have seeped onto the bedding and surrounding areas, regulating humidity can go a long way in treating your snake's scale rot. This is especially true if your snake is from a subtropical or tropical region. Reptiles are used to their natural environments. This is how they thrive in good health. Getting your snake's enclosure as close to nature as possible is imperative. Using heat lamps appropriately managing the enclosure's screen top as it relates to positive airflow, and maintaining proper bedding is important. Lining your snake's enclosure with material that is comfortable, moisture absorbent, mold resistant, odor eliminating, and humidity holding is ideal. Coconut substrate, made from organic coconut chips, has become a popular form of bedding. Now that many of the core treatment methods and general facts concerning this important topic of scale rot have been covered that will wrap things up for this video if you enjoyed this content we'd love for you to join us here on youtube please click that subscribe button and stay up to date we produce videos on a weekly basis so if you're the proud owner of a snake looking to own one in the future or are just simply curious about these amazing creatures we hope you'll stick around until we meet again we thank you so much for watching and from all of us here at snakesforpets.com we hope you have an awesome day Thank mm -hmm. you.